you know, it, it sells itself right at the very beginning. Uh, it is inspired by base building games such as Dungeon Keeper, Evil Genius, and RimWorld with a touch of Stargate SG-1. I think it's a fantastic idea. We're going to go out, we're going to build ourselves a base, and we're going to use little robots or whatever. We're going to build a base, we're going to go hire some recruits, some scientists, some soldiers. We're going to go through the Stargate or the Exogate, uh, whatever they want to call it, and go out and visit some other worlds. And I'm not sure the point of the of visiting the other worlds, but I guess we'll find that out uh, momentarily. And yeah, it's it looks very, um, it looks very evil genius like the new evil genius that just came out what, last year, two years ago. Um, but I it isn't it's there is a Steam page, uh, but this is a demo that is over on itch.io that you can get the alpha demo. Uh, it's been here for a couple months, three months, I guess, and. Um, yeah, pretty interesting. I've been playing a little bit of this, and yeah, it's um, I, I'm 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 liking what I, what I'm what I'm seeing here. So let's begin the demo here, and come on in. I think we get like a little story here. Oh well, this is our story. So Rudy Cobb here. Today's your first day at the as the at the Exagate Initiative as our executive officer. My name is Rudy Cobb, and I'm founder of this program. A few years ago, I dedicated my fortune to research and develop a brand new kind of technology, one able to send us beyond the limits of our own little world. Our mission is to explore with intelligence and pragmatism and with respect. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, I know you have a lot of work to do. Get ready. Good luck. You know. So with his his vast fortune of five hundred thousand dollars, we're going to go out and. Um, send people through a gate. Now, in charge of the of the initiative, I have to prove that it was the right investment. Well, we'll see. Committee was appointed to monitor your progress, unlock new funds when you reach the objectives. Okay. So, quick overview here. We've got a we have a Stargate. So, this is you come down the elevator now. You, you know, slide on down and you, and you come in through the into the base. We've got it dug out. We have a Stargate set up and ready to go. Um, and once we once we build up our base, for instance, like adding in different little rooms. Like, we want to put in something like, you know, like that. So we can kind of build this guy out. Stick a bedroom in there or something, you know. Uh, we can do that. Um, it must be able to lab. Well, this tutorial, not going to help you really uh, much. Um, so, ignore that for right now. Um, I'm going to throw in, let's do something like that and like that. And uh, we get to, our little robots are going to get to work chiseling away at, at, at the workspace. But anyway, as we hire some folks, we can come in here to the hiring menu. We can hire some gators and bring them in, some scientists and soldiers. And once we get them equipped and set up on a team, we're going to send them through the gate and do some missions out there. So we got MQ331 out there somewhere. We've got WA645. They all have different difficulties. You know, whatever. And and I, and I, I think the ultimate goal is to go and find alien cultures. I don't know. I haven't got to that far yet. We do have research as well. We need a, we need a desk to go do some research. That's what it wants me to do over here is do a um, do some research. So we'll put our lab over this way. We'll get ourselves we'll put like a bedroom or something like that in here. Um, again, don't follow the tutorial because it is going to uh, gonna hose you. So we're not gonna hire any new people yet until we get things started. And we're gonna start off with a uh, we'll put just put like a like a put like a barracks over here, right there. Um, we need three people to begin with. We can have them all in the same spot, I guess. Do they mind that? They don't mind that, I don't think. Let's do... Let's just do that. We'll keep on going that. We'll make a big a big barracks. And then we'll set up a... Let's see. They'll go that way. And over on this side, we'll put in our mess. I think we can make that come around here, I guess. Or we can make the barracks go this way if we wanted to. Um, and we got a lab over there. We're going to need a, uh, a place to stash some batteries. So we will stash some batteries... Uh, right over here. Like that. A little carve away. <laughs> Hello, Burns. How's it going? Hey, you missed a spot. What are you doing? Get back here. So this plays out like... I'm, I'm, I always refer to this as, as prison architect-like. Well, I know a lot of games do this, though, where you plan out your rooms. You say, like, uh, you are a bedroom. Well, it's not done yet, because they're, they're... I don't know what's going on. ADHD robots that are just buzzing around and doing whatever... Like, from room, from room to room here. There you go. Good job. Good job. Okay, so let's go and put this in as a lab. Like that. And we so we mark it down as a lab, and then once it's a lab, then we tell them what things go in that lab. Is there combat? I, I don't know, President Bull, uh, Bulldog. Do you remember the episode where they played golf through the Stargate? Yeah, that was... Wasn't that episode 100? 
um, the Groundhog Day one? No, 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 I'm wrong. No, that wasn't episode 100. Never mind. But yeah, I know that one. Episode 100 was the one, like, the, the Farscape one and the, and the Puppet one. Uh, let's see, we want to, this one to go there. Take away my, my, my Stargate cred. Uh, we'll put a battery barn right there. And once these things are done, we can click on this and it'll tell us what goes there. So, like, a, uh, where the gators sleep. Gators are my people. Not an insult. Just my people. Um, we can stash them in, like, I don't want to do this. I put this pretty skinny, didn't I? We'll just, like, line them up like this. So we'll have one, like, there, and there, and there, and we'll put in these, these, uh, these are, like, um, lockers is the word. So yeah, like, it's a little galley bedroom. Who's that? Bebop, thank you for the follow. Would it be Planet Gate, since it's totally not Stargate? No, no, it's Exogate. Exogate. All right, so over here at the, uh, at the lab, we're going to put in some lab things. Uh, this cool thing is going to go right back over there. We're going to stash. This is a computer. To tell you what to do whenever you click on them, I'm neglecting to do. So this guy re does a research table. This is our patent console where scientists will write new patents. Uh, we have a biosample study desk and a containment for biosamples. So you go there, and you're going to go right, right there. This maybe it may not have been laid out the best way, but it's fine. It's fine. Check that out. That's fancy. That's fancy, too. Neat little lab there. They can have a drink if they need to. Uh, over here, we can have batteries. So this is battery land. We're going to throw in batteries. We need batteries to power the gate, of course. Uh, as we hire people, we'll assign them beds and lockers. And what was I doing over here? This was supposed to be my my mess. Is that what I was doing over there? It's tiny. Oh, we have a training room as well. I think the mess doesn't need to be real big, so let's do that. I mean, how hungry can they get? Uh, we'll put in... I can buy another robot if I want. But we're going to go put in a door. There. And then there. Okay. Make this place nice. There we go. Uh, we can, yeah, this is where we eat, so we're gonna throw in, oh, um, I don't know, we'll put in, like, do we need more than one of these? We'll put one of these in, maybe we'll need more than one, and we'll put a couple tables in. If we need to, we can put stuff back here. There we go. Hey, Joe Bird, how's it going? How you been? That is a heck of a gaming rig, isn't it? I know, I'm jealous. Here I am, sitting here in a closet. <clears> oh <throat> uh, my for my YouTube oh my YouTube comment. Well thanks. I'm glad uh I'm glad that it um notifications are going out. Thanks for letting me know. Grant the wall for the aliens to squirm through. Yeah, probably. I'm not sure what that is. Um looks um I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. Murder catch. This is called Exogate Initiative. This is Stargate without the copyright. Okay, so let's go and hire some people. So we need three people to go on a mission. So I'll show that in a second. Um, actually, I'll show that now. So when we go to the gate, we say, let's say we want to go. You see, these are different now because they expire after so long. Uh, this is a. Oh, I don't want to go to these. These are hard. Uh, we create a mission and then when we set a new team. Our team consists of three people, right? You got O'Neill, Jackson, you know, Carter, and that's how it works. You got two scientists and a soldier, and they go on the missions. And uh, Teal will come later on, I guess. Um, but we're going to go so hire some people. We're going to hire a soldier. We're going to set up a, a recruitment campaign. Now we can, right now we're spending 1500 bucks on this campaign. Where we're going to pay somebody up to 4000 bucks. We'll do this campaign for five days. And we're going to get two people are going to come back. So sure, we'll start a campaign up there. And we'll do the same thing with scientists. We need two scientists at least. So let's let's raise the budget. What oh, is an annoying sound. Um, we'll pay 3000 for this one so we get two scientists. I don't care who they are. We'll take them. <clears throat> so, they will show up here in a minute. What, five days, I guess. <clears throat> just got the first part of your video posted on YouTube. Was that, uh, what was the last one I just posted? Um, uh, the, the RTS one I, I did, right? That's the one. Okay, we got a vending machine. Everyone just orders, just, you know, vending machines all we got over here. So, we're going to order for some food. 
And I think everything else is set. We're just, we're just waiting for our people to show up. And then once they do show up, uh, we'll go and do these. We're going to go get some bio samples, explore a planet, hire scientists. Um, if you go and follow the tutorial, you, 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 know, you go down the list. You hire a scientist. Uh, you can't explore a planet because you need more than two scientists. You can build your lab. and you build. And once you get that, then your guy is sad because you haven't built a rec room and a bed and all that. And then he leaves. So that was my problem I had before. Anyway, we spent no money because we have no people. I don't think I can rename them. And I'll try to rename them when they come in here. I tried before. I didn't figure it out. So we'll look. <sighs> evil genius vibe, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's when I, the first glance at this, I thought, oh, it's just evil genius. Uh, evil genius with a Stargate. And uh, I'm sold. Certainly. My warbots are just sitting around here. I don't really have anything else to do, I don't think, just yet. Until... Have I built all this stuff? Um, oh, I didn't build my rec room. My training room. Oops. Uh, we'll throw that over here. That's probably big enough. A little crooked. We'll do double doors. Okay, scientists are available for hire. So they're in the menu now. So we got one or a soldier here. We got, a, we got Amanda and we have Georgia. So that's the same thing. Georgia is $1,000 a month cheaper... But she's not very good at logic or at knowledge and logic. You don't need knowledge. That's what the scientists are for. So Amanda, congratulations, you are hired. I can't change your name. Let's see if I can hire, get it afterwards. So she is hired, and for scientists, we're gonna get we got Garcia, who is good at logic and knowledge, but not very strong, not very not very body. And then we have Gabriel, Kute, who's also logical. Yeah, sure. You guys are great. You're hired. And you're hired. We got a Canadian, uh, what was that, Brazilian? And, and an American? Can I change your name? I cannot. It is just an alpha, though, so I, I suppose we'll forgive them. We can throw her in the trash. That seems a little harsh. Oh, we can give her gear as well. Nice. Affinities. Okay, so we won't put her on a team. We're going to make a new team here. So, uh, you know, SG1 style, we got to make a team. And, um,. Quite a, quite a list of little symbols here. I'm not really sure the point of most of them. I think it's just for looks. Well, obviously, it's just for looks. Um, but I I am partial to the... Uh, that's kind of cool. I, I am partial to uh, the old Neptune one. Where are we at here? We will call this team... Uh, we'll, we'll make it uh, make it a nice blue, and we'll call them... Um, Neptune's Nook. Just pull that name out of, out of my head. Um, all one word. Excellent. Excellent. All right, Neptune's Nook. Um, you all are going to be assigned to that. Scientist. Scientist. There we go. So there is there's Neptune. And we're going to send them on a mission. So let's go. Oh, there they are. Here they come. I'd watch it, especially if in, the, in the Despicable Me universe. Yeah. And that that's, that's I think that's kind of what... Um, the new evil genius was kind of going on was was that was a sort of that despicable me style style, style which with the old ones is kind of the new one certainly uh this guy wants a bed so we're gonna go ahead and make sure to assign everything to everybody so amanda can go there this is gabriel's and this can be kate katie's uh and there you go katie there you go so they all have their stuff that they want uh their beds and their lockers uh they'll come over here and have a snack uh, and, and stay away from the scary stuff over there. And then they can do research, I think. They can't really do it until we get... Can I get active research right now? Research selected. I want... Oh, not in the demo. Okay, okay, fine. Fine. Uh, anyway, let's go, let's go. Let's go visit something. So, uh, these are scary, though. Difficulty high? I don't want to do that. I want an easy one. Hmm. Yeah, let's 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 wait until we get a little bit easier mission, I guess. I don't want. Do we want to go send them off to die immediately? That sounds. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. We'll build another builder there. Double door. Right there. <clears throat> it's like a MOBA team room. <laughs> That's right. Hey, thanks, Dobird. Thank you very much. Where's my Where's my sound effects? There it is. And Lupus and Cactus King, thank you for the follows. What color are their shirts? Uh, well, um, 
What are you whining about? Oh, you're, you're sleepy. Okay, okay. Uh, let's, so we can get... Uh, oh, there's more stuff in here, isn't there? Uh, we need to get a shooting range. Allows us to shoot. I guess we'll do that. And then we got some benches here. To make us make us strong. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work. We'll put one there, and we'll put one over there. Okay. Gabriel, Gabriel likes the idea of that. Uh, Gabriel's standing around doing nothing. It's going to be how long until you, new one comes in? Oh, two days. Okay, we can wait two days. That's fine. That's fine. Hey, Joe Bird, thank you very much. I appreciate that very much. I think I, I feel like we need some doors here. I like I like the whole little roundabout thing we got going on. Though. It gives me, the game starts with a roundabout, so you know it's good. A double door. We'll put one there, and we'll put one there. You know, you got to have that corridor of nothing until you get to the good stuff. Oh, you want a dad joke, do you, Joe Bird? Oh, well, let me let me help you out here. So, um, so we, we all know about Murphy's Law, right? Uh, it's, you know, whatever can go wrong does or will go wrong. Uh, but have you ever heard of Cole's Law? That one is thinly sliced cabbage. I try, I try to say it with a straight face, and I just I just can't do it. I just they're just too stupid to, <laughs> to say it with a straight face. <laughs> okay, we got some new new plants. Let's let's change our thought process. Let's get something new here. So we got low one thirty nine. Let's go over there. So we're gonna send Neptune's Nook on assignment. Get over there. Okay, mission initiated. Excellent. I want to see them go through there. Uh, they can tell the aliens this fancy new joke they just learned. <laughs> <laughs> I can I can see the viewer numbers dropping. <laughs> All right, you slobs, get to get to the gate. Dial it up. Chevron one. Locked. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that's exciting. Look at all that radiation they're getting. I feel like a man should have a gun. Maybe that's just the, maybe that's just the American in me thinking that she's gonna go to an alien planet. She's gonna need a gun. Uh, that seems scary. And have a wide corridor in front of your gate so the team can do the slow mo power walk whenever they go on a mission. Yeah, well there you go. They just did it. The campaign this week we're playing at Herringon. Called mine a hope in mad. Hop in mad. Hop. <laughs> I <don't care. clears throat> I guess we just sit here for seven days. Well, I guess the robots are still working, so we can do something with them. Um, can we see something over here? Do we just sit back and kind of let it happen? No threats to detect. If we picked a nice peaceful one for them to go on for their first mission. Uh, there's yellow stuff there. It means it is in progress. Okay. Um, I guess we could hire another team if we wanted to. We'll let this one play out and see what happens. I don't think there's a fast forward yet. I can only have four people, looks like, in my base anyway. Yeah, four four gators. Uh, maybe it's because of my beds. I don't think there's anything we can really do here. Um, oh, you have feelings towards your, your, your people here? Oh. I don't care how you feel about them. Just do the mission. All right. <sighs> yeah, yeah. What happened? Oh. Yeah. Rodriguez. Uh, wait. We'll just wait. This here's Neptune's Nook, transmitting from L O one three nine. How are things on your end? Well, who cares about my end? How are you? Uh, loud and clear. It's barren. Rocky surface similar to the moon. Craters, thin atmosphere. Gravity is close to Earth. My whole team and myself are moved. Moved to tears. Well, get over it. Have you decided on the first words? We'll be broadcasting all over the planet. Millions, billions will hear us. Oh, this isn't a secret. What have we... What should we say? As an initiative executive officer, you will have to make many decisions like this one. Are you telling me my job, Amanda? Um, something classy, you know? Sure, I'll find something. Find those spacesuits? Uh, I'm sure they sent a, uh, a UAV in there. Copy that. We are ready for the broadcast. Um, 
Great, stand by. Team and I feel that the broadcast is more stressful than us crossing the gate. Weird, huh? It's gonna be bigger than the moon landing. We're on the other side of the universe. Stop chatting and start broadcasting. Hello, Earth. We are sending you this message from across the universe. And... That's a solemn beat. That's one small step for a Earthling and... One giant leap for mankind. We are currently on LO139, million light years away from Earth. Thank you for following our journey to with the Exogate Initiative. That's it. It's quick. It's done. We'll do another quick trip around the gate and come back home. Um, good job. Seems we have found everything of interest about this world. Now what? We'll get back home then. Okay. Ah! Hey, uh, Giva. Thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Okay, you coming back? Oh, you are back. Okay. Hey, go have a little little, little snack. Are we out of food already? Maybe we should get some more of those. Uh, let's get... How do we do that? Right here? Let's get another one of those because I don't want them crying about food. Okay, well, there we go. Now we have samples to, to check out, right? I mean, oh, because there's nothing there because it's a barren planet. I mean, there's like rocks, but no biological samples. I see, I see. Um, how much do you hold? You hold 100 power, and I've noticed that some of these things, like it takes 68 to get there. 68, 68, apparently that's a common thing. Uh, there's a nice easy one over here, ends in 13 days. I mean, are they good to go? We can click on them and see like their, uh, their moods. Katie over here is shooting some things. So I think... The higher it is, the worse. The need is the need. Higher is need. It seems a little backwards. Um, that's rest, food. Uh, I don't know. Um, probably, uh, uh, I know what it is. It's, um, no, that's that one. I don't know. I'm not sure what that one is. Like, what would it be? Maybe, like, training? It's like a brain with a little fire on it. Does it tell me in here? Brain fatigue. Oh. 100, fa 100 fatigue and then, and then social needs. And I think the higher the higher it goes, the worse. Yeah, that is a hunger meter, so what's going up. Food vendor looks suspicious. What do you mean? Looks, looks fine to me. You can go over there and you get yourself a Snickers. And, um... Maybe a um, maybe a nasty egg salad sandwich that gives you uh, worms. Sorry, that's I am um, my um, my usually it's normally it's my wife and I, my family do this. My kids are involved in it on it now, where we go and we've been watching like um, uh, uh, different shows. We sort of binge our way through some shows, and we just recently started Futurama. So I got Futurama things in the brain. All right, so we spent twelve grand on these people, but you know, I guess they, I guess they deserve it. They went to a different planet. Speed of old games like Black and White, Wonderful Remake, another Spore game. There is another Spore-like game coming out called Adapt. It's just sort of the it's it's a it's the the creature stage of Spore. It, it's not this. It's, there is a Cell one also, but that's got a ways to go. But Adapt, the demo just came out for it, and it's the um, it's creature stage. Okay, so I'm going to say you guys are good to go. Let's go. We got that. Let's take the easy one. Four days. Yeah, we'll go We'll go here. This is nice and green. You guys can go there. Get over there. What if I should get a second crew now? We know what we're doing. Yeah, go have a, go get a bite to eat. You got an important mission coming up. Let's get another, another crew going. We'll, we'll give them their room over here. We'll do this one. Um, oh, you know what? We're gonna I'm going to try something. Can I do this and make it look right? No, I can't. Um, it's okay. We'll, f we'll figure it out. There they go. There they go. Bloop. 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 Uh, yeah, I did a video on it a long time ago, but there's a new demo out that's that's more updated than my old video. Um, uh, which I've, I've been meaning to play it, but I just haven't got to it yet recently. The demo came out during the, the Steam Fest that just that just happened. So this is going to be a barracks. 
And we're going to put in... Uh, when it's done, we'll put in another bed. So they're gone for eight days. We claimed the last planet for our Galactic Empire. I don't know what the point of it is. Like, I think it, I think it's just gone. I think, like, this gate... I don't know the story. It didn't give you much. Like, I guess it only periodically find things like this, this this link will expire in six days so i guess we only see it for a little while so it's a very it's more stargate universe style i guess okay let's go like that and we'll put in there's two we really just need three of these okay 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 hang on hang on a second i'm building a bed i didn't really do this very smart did i hang on Okay, okay, what do you want? Uh, view I hear is simply stunning, Exo. Stunning. Uh, yeah, what do you see? A giant blue sun is setting right behind a white marble mountain. Thin atmosphere blowing a colorful dust over the horizon. Looks like it was drawn by a five-year-old kid. A talented one. I love it. What do you see? Nothing. Rocks, as far as I can see, everything is white, blinding almost. We're starting our exploration. Okay. Initial readings look pretty good. It was nice and green. Can't wait. Team and I are super excited. By the way, as our XO, we might need some help from you. But what about now? Yeah, what do you want? From where we are, there's two ways down. West side is steeper, but the view is more open. East side's through a canyon, so it's easier. Which way? Um. Um. You choose. Sure, we feel the east side is safer, and we need to test the equipment. So, east. Okay. Let me upgrade this just a little. Maybe a bit. I'm going to do this. I did this poorly. Uh, let's go like that. Team leader here, we're glad to report we've reached the bottom of the hill. East path through the canyon was extremely easy. Okay. Well, that's the exciting part. We can clearly see from a, here a structure in the distance. It could be... It could be a tree. What's the, what's the Yeah, you're kind of dumb. What's the science officer say? Actually, Garcia is the one who pointed it. It, didn't, it pointed it out that it didn't look like... A, that it... Pointed it didn't look like a rock formation. Okay, get closer. Yeah, you, you, you tell her, Garcia. Okay, where, where, where are you going? Look, put the tile down. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so we'll go... I probably need to go one more, actually. I could do... Oh, I can't do that, can I? I did this, I did this all wrong. The worst. <laughs> okay, we'll do... Oh, stop it! One more. Team leader here, we're a couple of clicks away from the con uh, the contact. Uh, it's a, a tree? Looks like it. Seems dead. The bark is entirely white, and that's why we thought it was a grok formation. From our human point of view, it seems to be a tree, but we need to get closer. Large trunk, deep roots, branches, uh, or at least a form of ramification seen in most of the flora we have on Earth. Maybe maybe Rodriguez is kind of smart. Those are some big words. Is it dead? We need to get closer to be sure, says Cote. Standard procedure is we either observe from a safe distance or we get close to the contact. In either case, we might miss valuable information. It's up to you. Consider parameters. We'll get closer. Top of that. Lucky. It's not a tree. It's a sandworm. Hmm. It might be. I just, I just need one of you to come back with a sample. Then we're good. Let's put another bed there and we'll throw in... Oh, you guys are just... You just don't... Don't stop. Reach the tree. According to our initial estimates, it's been here for two to six thousand years. Dead. We missed his leaves by a second or so in geological terms. Alright. You're right. From uh, where we are, it looks like the tree is dead and will not pose any threats. Here's what we can do two things. We can study more and develop our research. We could collect a sample and bring it back to us with bays. In both cases, it takes time. Pretty much done here. Studying the, with the tools we have with us here will be useless. Take a sample. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kote will do it. He wanted to do it. Reminds him of when he was gardening with his grandfather in Canada. Okay, okay. Uh, it's done. We have a sample. Our first bite of life. Life. Okay. Oh, go oh Gabriel's excited. Life. We've encountered life. When you guys get happy. Uh, or something that was alive in the past. Extend my congr congratulations to the whole team. Did you level up? No, he's just happy because he got a plant. Okay. Okay. Are the devs... Are they French? The devs are French. Yeah, it's still... You know, it's still alpha, so... 
plenty of time for translation uh, things. In fact, it's no need to even consider working on translation stuff if it's this early in the process. In my opinion, anyway. So we go study that sample. Uh, we do that here. Oh, sample study in progress. Okay. It certainly does have a yeah, evil genius for sure. Um, I don't know how to say your name, but thank you for the follow. Yeah, and this isn't even uh, a Steam demo. This is an H.io demo, so it's, you know, extra early days. So the sample pointed to a bright future for the initiative. We will provide additional funding to keep the momentum going. Hey, thanks. We should end of this preview of Exegate already. Okay, I want to see a little bit more because I want to see if there's something more than just a tree. Okay, we'll see. We'll do another mission here. He's over here chatting or something. He wants to chat or something. Okay, so we finished the study of it. Let's see it. How do we do it? We do that here. No, 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 that's tech tree. That's our things. Um, I want to know if that if we get something out of that. No sample, no pet. Write a new patent. Not available in the demo. So is that like this is like like a NASA thing, right? Like we can make Tang. Is that what that's all about? Like what, from the things that we find, we maybe will find a, a reason. Let's go do another mission. Threat level high. Okay, let's go there. Looks like a nice planet. I want to see. I want to see if we find some real aliens. Trees, old trees don't count. I'm gonna go ahead and hire another crew to too. So I want. Let's do um, let's do two soldiers this time. Ooh, they're gonna be expensive. I could spend more money here. There we go. And let's get one scientist. That sound. Add one. Okay. So Rodriguez, you're, does that mean you're like in command of this? Now I noticed one of you leveled up. Do I do anything about that? I don't remember what your stats were before. Also, I'm curious about this. Maybe that's maybe that's where we we make we make new gear. Maybe I don't know. Episode SG one where their aliens were crystal shards. I think that was yeah, uh, that was one of the early ones. And they like they copied. Who'd they copy? I don't remember which who it was. Was it O'Neill? Hey, where you go? Yeah, yeah. They, oh, yeah. Look at all the smoke. <laughs> make sure the smoke smokes machines. Make sure the smoke oh, machines there, are going, because it's important. Hey, Jeffrey, three months. Thank you very much for the subs and the support. I appreciate that. And thank you, uh, everyone, tonight. <clears throat> so, uh, we got a day. These guys will be here. We'll, we'll hire another crew and we'll send them out and we'll go do a couple missions. Because I just want to see what we can do. Yeah, if there's no smoke machines, it's not sci fi. Um, it does have seven there, so... Uh, oh, there's our scientist, so let's go hire... Um, oh, Chloe Jones! And we got... Uh, what's that one? That one is mental strength, that is body. I think we want the... Um, Emma Thomas? Ooh, there's another one. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Megan is even better. Uh, Programmer Jeff! Thank you very much. Download the demo of Road Command. Uh, oh, yeah, I, do you like it? I wasn't sure how... I, I like the, the, the... It was just the demo, so it's hard to see what, what the game's like. But I, I liked... I like the kind of the... I didn't think I was going to like the deck building part of it, but I actually ended up kind of liking it. Uh, so we're bringing in Alex and Sarah here. We're just hiring, hiring in the uh, in the States. <laughs> Thanks, Joe Bird. Hey, it's a hype train. Thanks. Thank you very much. 
Um, let's create a new team. How do we do this? I want to go here. Expert level? Yeah, that's perfect for the new team. So these guys are going to be... Let's get a good one. We're going to get... Oh, where's it? Where's it? Where's a good looking symbol? Hmm. Here we go. A nice fireball. Right. This is on Tinti's um, flame, they call them. Okay. Uh, Tinti's flame's going to go there. We got to make sure we put people on that team. So we go over here. Who's that? Is that, uh, is that Joe Bird? Thank you, Joe Bird. Look at all those. <laughs> Pants and bits. Thanks. Thank you very much. So Sarah's going to go in there. Alex and, and Megan. I guess the person I put in first is in command. Do we want... I don't think I want... Did I hire two scientists and one soldier? I thought I hired two soldiers. I did. Oops. I got that backwards. I meant to do... Um. It's okay. We will put Sarah Miller in charge here. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so they're going to go there. And perhaps die. <laughs> Kibbles and bits. They're being harassed by something. Ooh, they're getting beat down. Um, harassed? What? They're throwing rocks at us. On top of that, every time we turn over, it just... It's just the trees and the team. We're actively searching. Injuries? <laughs> Bruises, mostly. What else? It's weird. Oh, there's options for a medic. We don't have a medic. Some of the rocks are glued to our spacesuit. Glued? Sounds creepy alive. <laughs> are you sure those are rocks? They are seeds. Plant seeds. I don't like it. Burn them. Team leader, sorry, I found the culprits. It's a weird mouth-shaped plant. Roughly a meter high. Red leaves. Looks like it's wearing lipstick. Burn <laughs> <laughs> this is the first intelligent life we've found. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mod. Um, burn them too. Well, it did open its mouth as if they were screaming, but don't worry, it's all ashes now. Good job, good job. Seems we found everything of interest around this world. What's next? Uh, mission's done. What's wrong with you? You went, you went to another world. You found life. You burned it, like a true human. You should be proud of yourselves. You're a, a credit to your species. Don't kiss the plants. <laughs> All right. Uh, new team. What, you guys ready to go? Um, you're over there, right? Yeah, yeah, they're on their way there. That's that one. And then we got a new one over here, which is a no difficulty one. Yeah, we don't want that. I'm looking for one that, um, you know, people, people. Thank you very much, Jeff. Okay, here comes Odinti's flame. Now they're going. Do we don't have, like... We can clearly see the soldier. Pause it. We don't really see the... Oh, yeah, I guess we do see the colors. Because they're, they're red, and the other guys out here were wearing blue, right? Uh, no, take that back. Never mind. I thought maybe we could tell the difference, but we can't. We got the we got these, uh, these Nintendo Power Gloves. You know we mean business. <clears throat> All right. They miss anybody there? Mod, Jeff, Joe Bird. Thank you very much. Oh, right, beds, right. That <laughs> they can have beds when they come back. That's if you come back, you get a bed. That's, you know, that's that's their encouragement. I'll take that. You can have a locker. They're still they're going on a mission. They still got their suitcases with them. So Garcia got a little beat up by a rock or a seed. Um, I don't know what to do about that because I don't I can't build a med bay, which is right there. But I don't know how to unlock it. I assume there's some sort of research we gotta do, or maybe we some sort of stage of the game that unlocks that. But it's clearly right there. We've got and there's like a there's a workshop, armory. Recreation room, med bay. Uh, what is that? There's a mystery in a library. Oh, yeah, what you got? Who is this? Who are you? Sarah Miller. We reached the seaside as planned. Water's freezing, dark volcanic sand for kilometers. The whole place looks like 
What do you copy? Sorry, we're seeing something in the distance. Looks like birds. <gasps> birds! Birds? Yes, birds! Tall birds! Bright white on the black sand. We couldn't miss them. They appear to move in flock. They're grazing on some sort of algae. This is... I... Uh, you alright? We're good. Got carried away there. Whole team is shocked. This... What? This is huge! Absolutely huge! We're watching animals on a far, far away planet. This is... Get a hold of yourself! We need to investigate. We need to start researching them. Permission to initiate contact. The process we devised for animal contact is the same as plants. It came, can come close, of course it isn't. Makes the situation safer, but we might get different intel. It's up to you. Okay. These birds look quite tall, as if they're on stilts. Nothing dangerous at first glance, but it's it's the first time we are meeting an alien animal life form. Should we, we should be careful. Get as close as possible. Praise on Tint! And hydrate. So we're moving closer to them. Okay, keep us posted. Investigate. See if they taste like chicken. Oh, we got a broken battery over here. Can we fix this? Okay. Who's missing a bed? Why is it unassigned? Here you go, Alex. Uh, who's that? Uh, Joe Bird. Thank you very much. This is a new game. Yeah, yeah, this is a demo. This is like an alpha demo. That's, uh, it's over on itch. Um, oh, we gotta re refill this thing again. Okay, these are good, right? Yeah, yeah. A couple meat sticks in there. Um, we stand 20 meters away from the creatures. Large beak with small mouth at the end. Three long members around three meters with... I'd say four articulations aligned in the bend and reach the ground. Bright white fur, maybe, maybe feathers. Probably similar to our penguins. What are they eating? Every once, once every minute or so, they're very slowly bending down and reaching some sort of algae in the sand. Sarah Miller bursted into tears earlier. I was almost crying as well. It's it's beautiful. You're you are the Sarah Miller. You talk to yourself about yourself in a third person. <laughs> Jimmy's going down. Um. Keep investigating. Understood. What's wrong with you, Kate? You think you deserve more money? Oh, we chat about money, huh? Okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry, Gabriel. We can't fix you. So you just go until you die is really how this works. Um, we can go here. We don't have... Oh, it takes 143 power to get there. Okay, let's get some more power then. Let's put in... Does it better need... Does it need to go... Oops, this way. Do it, I guess I can't block them because I need to get repaired. So we'll do that. These are... Uh, how much are these a piece? 50 a piece? Getting closer to the creatures and they were startled. They, they ran away. Even when they we stayed a few meters away from them, they did not seem to see us. Uh, are they far? Their three legs allow them to disappear in an instant, going slightly over 90 kilometers according to our equipment. Faster than the fastest cheetah on Earth. For kilometers, they are out of range of our scanners now. Um, keep exploring. When they left, we realized two things. First, their third member is not exactly a leg or a wing, but rather like a tail, which is which developed. It's quite spectacular and seen only in some insects on Earth. The general mass was like 50 kilos, two-thirds, just for the tail. Um, thanks for the for the hype train, everybody. Thank you very much. We got a new emote. Hooray. Well, that's exciting. Hey, Adi, how's it going? Uh, what's the other thing, Sarah? They're covered in feathers. Care to elaborate? Actually, according to Garcia, they're seemingly quite similar to Cretaceous... Cretaceous feathers. Simpler, smaller, made for insulation and more than flight. I wonder if... Like, this is going to be a lot of dialogue that they're putting into this. I wonder if, how... Um, I wonder how much... Uh, it seems like this is the game. Is is this. I'm curious. That's groundbreaking. It is. We got samples. We've combed the beach and found enough material to study these creatures for months. Okay. Uh, good job. If only we could have captured one of those creatures. Next time, hopefully, we'll have the right tools to do so. Okay, get back. Sarah is excited. Excited. Okay. Go get a little nap. You guys got a bed. You came back alive, you get a bed. <clears throat> What's the Twitch... Interesting Twitch mechanic? You mean like the the hype train? Like if you're here for a hype train, you get a... Um, you get emotes. I think... What's yours? Um, I can't click off the screen. Um... Like if you are the the leader, you get a uh, um, a train like a, a a thing next to your name. It's 
Sakote doesn't feel... Are you hurt too? What's wrong with you? We need advanced medical treatment. What happened? Yeah, that's that. What's that one? Mystery. Uh, well, you're not getting it. Okay, uh, let's go to another mission. So we can go there. We're going to send um, Neptune there. And this one's going to get... This is easy. We're sending against an TNT over there. I, you know, it's, um, I'm, 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 I'm liking it. I'm, I'm into it. It's, why do you guys always eat from the same machine? What's the deal? It's, it's almost like, I wasn't really sure what I was getting into whenever I started this, so I just called it SG-1 meets, um, Dungeon Keeper, which is what they call it. It almost has a more, um, like a story, what, what do they call it? Like a, like a story game than anything else almost, it seems like. You know? Like you got the base, it's like a base building with with story bits. I wonder how, if they plan on um, adding anything to, into that or if it is just going to be like story time whenever they go on missions. I'm actually fine with that. I, I, uh, I'm, I'm liking it. As long as it's new stories every time, we're not playing the same ones over and over again. So Sarah got a level. Do I do anything about that? I think you just you just level yourself, right? Yeah. It seems to be that way. You're level two. I don't see any buttons that say you are a little stressed. Well. Um I hope you're okay with uh, going on another mission. With your what are you carrying around? With your green bucket. Uh oh, did you get a, you get a you got a, a sample or something? I guess so. Reminds me of Evil Genius. Yeah, yeah. It very, it very much looks like Evil Genius. Can you eat your people if needed? <laughs> we can send our people to go get eaten. If you mean, if that's what you mean. Did I not start these yet? Oh, whoops. Put the mission at risk. <laughs> He's fine. Okay. I forgot to push the start button. Amanda can't go on mission. What do you mean, Amanda? What what's the deal here? Who's that? Amanda is our is our soldier. Well, we need her. I wish I knew what to do about uh, healing people. But I'm assuming it's in here. Yeah, yeah, no tech resource. So yeah, there it is. So we there's a training room. We have a training room. We have these. We this is the new stuff, I think. Mission simulator. Trains body, reflex perception. This is really all we have, so what we can see. Shooting range, which we have. Mind pod, treadmill. A lot of things we can see, like if we click on here. Reflex trainer, treadmill, mission simulator. We've got a shooting range, which I think is just like a level five shooting range. Only two there. Uh, there's more here too, though. There's a containment for specimen, specimen study desk. But again, tech, which we can't do. Okay, mission away. Two of you are hanging out, eh? So there's gonna be only two people on these missions? It's fine. We should probably hire. Oh, are you not injured anymore? Your little thing went away. Good, good. Okay, excellent. Rodriguez. I'm not sure what to do about you. I want to see something pop up in that screen. Oh, no, no. She's still hurt. Yeah, no fixing them. Is there a green thing floating in the gates? Uh, I don't know. It looks like a, is that a sample? I think it's one of the bio samples. I think maybe maybe someone was holding it. Like they were going to do, they were going to do the job, but they were holding it. And they just went through there. Normally, I think these things, I think they go in here. We do the bio samples. Oh, there it is. Bio sample containment. Is it like one of those per sample, maybe? Let's do this, let's do this out. Let's try that. <clears throat> hey, Harley, how's it going? Only now we got a notification from Twitch. Twitch is usually pretty good about notifications. I'm taking some lessons from YouTube, I guess. 
Okay, so I want this to be a lab. I'm going to make it just a row of these things. It looks like it just holds the one. I'm not sure what to do about it. No patent writing happening over here. And no research happening, of course. So let's go build oops, um, these. There's little robots on one wheel. It's pretty cheap to run a um, a station that sends people through space. Not cheaper than I figured it'd be. Okay, where's where's the other guys? Why are we missing somebody? Did I miss something? Gabriel Cote, mental health does not allow him to go on a mission. Can't go on a mission. Can't go on a mission. We had six people, right? Who? <laughs> Kote. Where's Kote? Kote? Um. Okay. You came back already, but you didn't. You didn't really have a mission, though. I'm confused now. Okay, so if, if you're injured, you're getting out of here. I'm, I'm getting rid of you. You know, you're great and all, but I can't heal you, so that means, that means you're fired. Okay. So it's all of, of main, the first team is gone. Let's go hire a couple more. Let's just get some soldiers. We'll just go in there and we're going to shoot some things. Can I, is there anyone here we can hire? Oh, hey, we kept... No. Okay. So, go get go get a little bit of a break. They're all fine. They just need a little food. And... I was going to put in some more tables. Over here. Over there. So, as soon as they're ready to go, we're going to send them back out and do another mission. And we're going to see... I just want to see if we can find something. Probably be our last one. Um, you think they're ready to go? Mental health is low. You can... Yeah, okay, we'll wait. He just wants to eat and all that. Okay. Let's go there. I used to... Back in my days of... of um, oh, was Miller hurt too? Yeah, Miller's hurt too. He's advanced. Alright. Sorry, Miller. You're level 3. You're great. But uh, sorry, I gotta let you go because I can heal you. Uh, so we're going to hire someone to f go there also. Okay, fix all those. Um, these, oh yeah, so those, those are you being used. we got two of them in there now. And Alex is over there looking at them. Let's bring in a um, that sound. That sound is, is terrible. Uh, and then we'll get a couple more soldiers. Yeah, one more. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got a whole whole bay here over here empty. Um, all right, so soldiers, soldiers. Um, this one. So I don't really care who we bring in. Uh, you're hired. You're hired. Actually, we could just do all four of these. We're done. Ooh, that guy. He's got some body, but that's about it. Okay. Good. And so we'll put you guys over here. I don't think I can put more than three on a team. We'll try it, though. We'll try it, and I'll see if we can do a really hard mission. We did one, a super... We did a... Um, was the, the bird one a hard one? I think, what, I think it was. Okay, so team... Team Red... New guys. We're going to go over here to this this high mission. And... Oh, i got to set a team up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, this one. You need somebody in here. Get, uh, get that guy. And then... We want someone... Who's going to lead this thing? Does it matter? Do we know who's who? Not really. You can lead. There you go. 
the the lazy one standing around doing nothing. You lead the, this place. Okay, so over here. Make it brown. That's fine. And then you, blue guys. Okay. Uh, Kratok. Kratok. Thank you for the follow. Alex Garcia finished the study uh, uh, a lot of trees. They are green with pink dots and they're shaped a bit like the cylinders, I think is what it says. It was behind my head. It's a bit like some cylinders sample. New scientific interest available for patents. Cold resistance. Oh, okay. Because we found the plants, and the plants are going to give us neat. Okay. Okay. I get it. I see, I see. That's cool. I did hire another scientist, but I don't really need him. Uh, we'll give this bed to... Actually, I do have another bed, don't I? So I can hire somebody else. So we'll bring a scientist in. Which, uh, I thought it was this one. Oh, not yet. Um, yeah, we probably should hang, we probably should bring another scientist in. What the King of the Dwarves Underground City Builder? I have, yep, I'd have a video on it. It's a little old now. It's been six months or so. I, um, I played that one. Is it on Steam yet? I played the, the Kickstarter demo of it. Or not Kickstarter, it'd be, uh, the itch.io alpha build of it. Uh, WD Kings. Thanks for the follow. Number two, having a fancy setting, you let you build underground and on the clouds. I thought it was really cool. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah, I remember that well. Civ two um, was the only, the first and the only game I ever did any sort of modding with, even with like my little eleven year old self or whatever. Um, I'd go on, I'd go on the forums and find folks that had made some sprites, and I made some of my own. I did like an, I made a like a Star Wars one. Um, yeah. Um, Good stuff. There's a bunch of those. Those. I think there's a bunch of the, the, there's a. Is it Civ Two multiplayer Gold Edition? Is that what it is? That's the one that has all the different scenarios. There's there's the fantasy one, and there's like a there's a sci-fi one. Um, pretty neat. There's some really neat stuff which they've never done after Civ Two. I don't think they've ever done anything, not like quite like that. It must not have gone over very well because it. None of the other Civs have. I don't think they do. They don't have any like official um, settings like that. Kim Cosmos, Master of Magic, is getting remade. As uh, this year is the new one coming out, made by Slytherin. There's a Steam page up for it. Made by the folks that made. Uh, what is it? Thea. The folks that made Thea are making the new Master of Magic. So not much we can do until we wait for these to happen. So we'll wait. Yeah, I'm really excited about the Master of Magic. I hope I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. Cause that that's a good one. So Untinti's flame will be done here in six hours. We'll see what they say. I'm, I'm um this will be we'll finish these two missions and we'll and we'll call it. Why then? Oh, uh, maybe we're out of stories. I'm guessing so. If they come back and nothing happens, we must be out of stories. Guillermo's going to have a little, or Guillermo, Guillermo, he's going to have a little nap. Uh, they're back. we got to wait for these in two days. I, I have a feeling. I was hoping to see something there. But this is it. This is pretty early, though. It's been, the demo's been out for three months. 89 days, I think is what it said. Megan Brown has a new medical condition, craziness. <laughs> uh, Doc, I got a problem. Well, you're crazy. That's what's, <laughs> that's what's going on. Megan, you all right? Take a meal tray. Yeah, why don't you go get a, go get a snack? That'll fill your belly. You'll you'll feel better. Yeah, they're back and and uh, she's a little stressed. So yeah, we're out of missions. All right. Anyway, a very neat game. It's gonna take a um. All these little missions are I I I like it. I'm into it. Um. There's not much stuff we can do here. Um. But. Yeah. We, we we didn't eat anybody, but we had someone diagnosed with craziness. I'll take it. Okay. It's by Xenobits. Um, if you want to play this, um, it is on... You can get... There is a Steam page, but it is... Uh, you can download it on itch.io. And... Um, 
Well, there it is.